Today we're watching the Steve Wolko show, and the title of this is Underage Sexting Arrest, where a dad was arrested for yeah, you know you know where this is going. And dang, this is a picture of the dad, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just looking at yep. this man. <laughs> He showed up at the house, and he probably got tased. <laughs> oh, dude's over here looking like he's related to Big Ed in some way. <laughs> so we do a lot of Catch a Predator and like Chris Hansen stuff where, you know, adults are doing things they don't need to be doing. They get caught, and they try to talk their way out of it. So we got the Steve Wolko show here. On, but did you know, Dane, that Idaho voted for the death penalty for pedophiles? Oh, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. They ain't playing no games, dude. You ain't no, not I, these kids. I don't not know if game. it's I don't know if it's going into law or anything or like what the next step is, but it was like a like I think eleven, like fifty two to like eleven or something was the vote. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but it was wow. like it was like wow. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, Dane. I mean there were people in the comments talking about like, oh, but what if they get like falsely accused? Da, 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 you know, all those people. And I'm like, well, I would hope that the the system would before they kill someone would have evidence beyond the shadow of doubt you know right and right. you know the whole the whole like but what if scenario and i was like man <sighs> tase him well <laughs> just tase, tase, tase him, him. <laughs> tase him bro tase him but anyway i brought that up because i was just like happy that at least like some some news in the world is they're they're taking the the punishment for this like more seriously having to pass because we've watched plenty of things where people get off with like a slap on the wrist, basically like, Oh, well he didn't actually do anything. He just showed up with the intention and have all these messages, but you know, we'll let him out in six months, I guess. And he has to just tell people that he's a, you know, whatever. And, and they do it again. And Oh, right. surprise Pikachu face. But anyway, let's get to it. My ex-husband, Dave, he's a monster trying to have sex with a 14 year old girl. He's guilty of this. I've seen the police report. The girl mentioned more than once that she was 14 years old. This is a very a serious conversation they're having here, but just like, <laughs> we need you to stand behind this like abandoned building and like cross your arms and look at us all. Yeah, mean mug. Yeah. Yeah, just imagine you're taking like a Facebook profile picture, all right? Yeah, make that face. <laughs> yeah, you're real cool, man. Why are Facebook pro pro profile pictures like that, dude? They all are. It's, you know, was so mad. There's the, there's the, I don't know, the, the common generational things, right? Like, say you got, we'll go with millennials, and they start... They start doing the dance, start breaking it down. You know, when you, when you start doing the dance, you have to put on the stank face. You have to just, you know, you oh, got yeah. to look like mm -hmm. you just having a terrible time. You, the, the big frown and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then before us, whichever yeah. generation is before us, they have the I have to look cool in my Facebook profile picture. I have to look hard. I'm like sitting in my truck with my camera like two feet from like two inches from my face with with like five dollar sunglasses on, you know. <laughs> so cool <laughs> that's what they have okay the generational thing there. yeah 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 oh yeah, yeah all right. i guess i don't know <laughs> just making up stuff he said that it's just a bunch of people making up a bunch of different stories and that makes me feel hurt because i don't know if i should trust him on that or not when oh. i found out I oh was they don't shocked. know if it's true okay so he's like nah 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 it, it didn't happen and she's like yeah it did he looked up to his father he wanted to be just like his father and mm. then when he had to see this all over the television while he was out with his friends, it just totally destroyed him. That does have to be rough sitting there as a kid and all of a sudden your dad is on, I don't know, I don't, I don't guess it was Dateline or anything. It wasn't, it wasn't Catch a Predator, but they, they called him, right? And you're just like, yeah. what? You kidding oh. me? Dad, you said you were going to the store. <laughs> no wonder he's not back home yet. Oh my God. My relationship before the crime with my father was very close. He became a firefighter. I would always sit in the truck with him, being raised in that fire station with him. Your dad raised you in a fire station? Dang. <laughs> I'd be crying about it too, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. You get to go down the pole and all that. You know, it's gotta, it's gotta be fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really pretty cool. Kid. Yeah, and then they all have to go fight fires and you just sit there by yourself, like, oh, God. <laughs> right, just at the station. Now it's chill, I guess. What they see on the media, what my ex wife saw on the media, was not the truth. What, what, uh, and well, tell me what happened. What's your side of the story? Basically, back in 2007, went on this adult. <laughs> Just the way he's talking to him already. I don't know if I can, I feel like I already know how this is going to go down, Dave. I feel like he knows <laughs> yeah. something that we don't know. He's like, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, he's guy. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, tell us about, yeah. uh, yeah. Lie to me real mm -hmm. quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Steve didn't even give this man a chair, okay? So that's how you know. <laughs> This ain't going well, right? Really? You stand there and tell him. <laughs> Went on this adult chat room. Re re reiterate that. It was an adult chat room. I had to use a credit card to get in there to prove I was over 18. So 
I did a, a introduction, said my age, and I cut and pasted it to all of them. Oh, man, dude, dude was on it. He was wow. cutting and pasting. He was spamming people. <laughs> he was married Authentic at the time. Greetings like that. Nice. Right? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't, he, this is ex-wife they were talking about earlier, so I'm kind of wondering if he is married now or then, and he's in there with his credit card proving that he's, you know, how old he is. He's spamming everybody like, hey, girl, what's up? You know, and there's no, uh, I, you know, there's there's nothing but other dudes in the chat room, of course, because. <laughs> yeah. That's that. like, as far as I know, <laughs> chat rooms like that, there's no actual women in there. You know, I, like hot, hot singles in your area. They're not using those websites to find dudes. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> it's just a bunch of dudes talking to bots uh, and obviously stings, you know, people that are setting stings up. Yeah. So it's stings like credit card scams. I bet, you know, just nonstop. So I guess he spammed everyone <laughs> and he spammed the, uh, the people who were setting up the sting and they were like, Hey, you know, they probably told him they were underage and he went there and got arrested. I imagine. And only one came up. So we started talking and, you know, unfortunately it started turning sexual and everything like that. And, and I asked, well, how old are you? She's 14 going to 15. I said, bull. So she said how old she was, but he didn't believe wow. her. You can't be because you had to have a credit card, okay? You can't <laughs> yeah, right? be. You're not real. Yeah, you definitely are on her lying about your age or anything. Say I'm in your position, say, mm -hmm. and a girl says, you know, by the way, I'm really 15 years old. Do I think, do I leap to that theory of, oh, it's a sexual fantasy, defense, you know? No, I'd be like, are you really 15? I'm out of here. Don't contact me. Yeah, what's the yeah. sexual? Everybody's like, yeah, right. well, thanks for stating the obvious there. Yeah, Steve. <laughs> yeah. It's like basic critical thinking and not jumping through hoops because he was thirsty. And the only person that responded to him, <laughs> the right. only person that responded to him, he started making excuses for them. Like, oh, that guy can't be real. Right. It sounds more like a hindsight thing of like, after I've been caught, I start like making up these reasons of what happened and, you know, how the conversation yeah. went. That's why I said, well, let's go out for a drink. Even no. though she's 14. No, she wasn't 14. As an adult, let's go out for a drink. Right. Okay. So. But she tells you I'm 14. <laughs> I know. He's, he's dying on this hill. He's like, no, she, she wasn't 14. Okay. Right. She's not. Because my whole defense depends on that fact that I've made up. Even though she told me <laughs> it's not true. She's lying because her profile that she entered herself says a different number. <laughs> and then she told me herself a different one. So right. I picked the one that I, I believe, and that's the truth. Another thing, when I was on the phone with her, she did not sound like a 14-year-old. You could kind of tell. But is she still you know, saying she's 14? Not after point? that. She just said it the one time. And I don't know what my ex-wife saw on the police report, but it was not mentioned more than once. This man, is the, he's, the, he's the woman whisperer. He knows how old they are just by hearing their voice. Right. You know, he can tell. <laughs> He's had a lot of experience. I can tell he's, oh. yeah, you know, he's a little bit of a, he's a stud, right? He's talked to a lot yeah. of women. That's why he's on a pay with your credit card site to talk to him. And to only begin one with. responded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because he's gone through all the other ones, all right? He's, he's what it is. <laughs> I said, okay, I'll come over, I'll pick you up. And I said, I want you to come outside first before I, because I don't know who this woman is. You know, so I've never done this before. Never met anybody at midnight. <laughs> Definitely not suspicious. Come outside. I'm not going in your house. It could be a sting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come outside. I don't know who you are. You're a stranger to me. It's scary. <laughs> Big strong oh, fireman. So I said, I want you to meet me. So you're just, meeting her at midnight? It was, yeah, it was by the time we got done, it was like midnight. You know. Why are you was, meeting so late at night? Anybody? Yeah. Yeah, Dean. <laughs> Let's meet at midnight I mean, when everyone's asleep and no one will know. Whenever. Right. We'll go yeah. out for drinks at midnight. <laughs> at the one dive the bar bar's that's still only open. open for like an hour. An hour you yeah, know, like. closing time's coming soon, so we can only get like one drink. There was nothing else to do. I was. I didn't have to work. She obviously didn't have to work. Yeah, because she's fourteen. Obviously, she didn't have to work, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah obviously. <laughs> Obviously, she didn't have to work. She's too young to have a job, right? Duh. Yeah, she's back from her retail job. Don't That's worry. a weird thing to say. Okay. She might have school the next day. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not the woman I saw. Not the woman I saw. Because yeah. when -uh. I got to the house. Oh, he hit him with the no. -uh. <laughs> no, -uh, Steve. I told outside. her to come outside. Um, she, did know. she come outside? Yeah, she came outside and it was an adult that came out. Right. It wasn't even the same woman in the picture. Right. And what did she and, say? And she said, she comes to the car. She says, I'm not ready yet, but you can come in after I get out. So a woman came that wasn't even the same person. Okay. So they are trying to hit like the, the Dateline ABC decoy thing. Right. This may be, I mean, this may be like I didn't, I don't know if he went to jail or not. Like I said, I don't know the 
what happened at that time. But I mean, obviously he's being yeah. weird and like trying to cover up what he, his intentions were, but then the whole sting itself sounds weird as well. Mm-hmm. You know, that defense, he has to die. Dude, he has to die on that hill or else mm. he, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's all he has is, <laughs> uh, uh-uh, that was an adult credit card, you know? Uh, yeah. Cause you see, it was an adult that came outside. See, I was right. Yeah. And then like, how, what kind of person, mm, if you have these, if say, let's say they're allegations, right? Let's say you have these allegations against you and you want to go on the Steve Wilco show to talk about it. You know, I just feel like you're already <laughs> yeah, scraping right. the bottom. I mean, like, no, no, no hate on Steve. I think he puts on a good show, but the kind of person that wants to air this out on television. Right. It's like, dude, that, this cannot go. This is not going to go well for you. Like, what do you think you're going to plead with everyone and tell them that you're this story? And they're going to go, oh yeah, 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 I believe that. Yeah. <laughs> This guy's a good guy. He's got that lie detector test. He's going to hit it, man. <laughs> Dude, I think they do in this. I think they do hit the lie detector test. That's what we're getting to. <laughs> why did you plead no contest? If you believe you did nothing wrong, why did you plead no contest? I hoping you would ask me that. Oh, 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 oh. So he pled no contest. He's like, yep. I did it, guys. But but that's not the reality of it. He's got He's got more to say. Okay, all right. Because there's no way to get a fair trial, and you can't change. What state the, do you live in? You can't get a fair Florida. trial. Florida, you can't get a fair trial. No, unfortunately. nobody's ever gotten off. There's been a few, but not in these cases. So he, he pled. He couldn't get a fair trial in Florida. In in Florida. So what really happened? What really happened is his lawyer sat down with him and said, <clears throat> after reviewing all the evidence that they have against you. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, pal, you don't win. She told yeah. you how old she was. Did you go to jail? Yes, I did. How long? I went to prison for three years, and I had probation for five years. Prison for three prison years? For three Dang, years. okay. So he went to prison for three years. Wow. I've been wondering that this whole time. I was like, did he just, like, get off? Get, but no, they, they stuck him with it. They, he went to prison three years, probation. They got him. Yeah. That's one, of the, that's one of the better sentences that we've heard come across right from Sting. yeah that's well yeah, yeah 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 and like i said like the story he's telling like if we take it at face value and believe him then it like i said earlier it, sound, it sounded like the steam was weird if it happened exactly like he said right but i highly doubt that's what really went down right seeing that he pled no contest and then went to prison for three years and everything yeah Oh yeah, man. He probably he probably. Oh man, if Chris Hansen was on this, they, he'd probably be like airing it out. Like this guy sent his genitalia <laughs> and everything. And, <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. We have these two articles that read oh. that you stated to detectives. Mm. Oh, oh, here we go. Here. Oh yes, this is what we need. The receipts. What do you ah. say? What do you say? And you stated uh, to the person that you thought was a girl, you think you might like to lose your virginity to an older guy? That is after I realized she was playing a game. Yes. And everything you read on there... But you don't was, know, you know she's playing a game. I thought she was. You I thought, was but stupid. So yeah. You thought that you were... Ha! Where's the bingo card at? <laughs> there it is, bro. I'm stupid. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was stupid. You know, Kevin made me do it. No. Oh. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> I also noticed how, like, when Steve's reading this to him, dude is just like grinding his teeth and you can like see his jaw just like you think you might like to lose your virginity to an older guy he's like no no steve (laughs) you thought that you were now she says hey i'm 14 years old and you state to her hey how would you like to use your (laughs) this one dude in the background here he's been i've been watching him he's killing me he's just so like yeah I just can't handle it right now. <laughs> she said it though. She said she was 14 years old. I didn't. Ma- I wasn't believing her. And you That's exposed yourself me. via a, a web a webcam. I sent her right? a pic- Dude, I told you. Oh I told you. I told you. I told wow. you. He exposed himself. Wow. Yeah. Webcam, I sent her right? a picture. A picture of a. <laughs> that I got off the internet. Yeah. I wasn't gonna ex- send mine. <laughs> Dude, he went. Wow. He went. Yeah, That's better. <laughs> He That's went, better. Found a random wiener picture on the internet and sent it to her. Like, yeah, look at this thing. Yeah, check this out. Yeah. And he's over here like, well, oh, that wasn't even the girl in the profile picture that came out. What a bit. <laughs> she catfish me too. Are you believing that you are having uh, sexually inappropriate conversations with the minor, you are breaking the if law. You're, if you're talking to one, yes. Steve. If you're believing one, yes. Yes, yeah, Steve. Thank, okay. thank you for... <laughs> 
This is how I feel like people are watching my videos, Dane. Whenever we're watching something and I just say like the super obvious stuff that everyone, that I don't even have to say people watching it have come to their own conclusion. Like, yes, thank you, Ken. But then of course in the comment section, there's like that one person being like, no, no, Ken, I watched your love don't judge video where you talked about that man and his, and his multiple girlfriends and you just don't understand polygamy. Even though at the beginning we said it's love don't judge, but we do and we're going to just like be over judgmental, you know? Like they, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So what do you hope happens today? I want my life back. I want my family to finally believe me. I want to be able Why? to. Why? Because it's been disgusting. It's been heartache. I can't get jobs. What do you I think you it's, know? how hard do you think it's on them? Hey, you're dead. <laughs> Man, okay, so, mm. his, so his goal for being here today is he wants his life back. He, he was, like the last thing he says is he can't get, he can't get jobs. It's like, well, this isn't going to like take that off your record. Right. <laughs> the Steve Wilkos is going to call him back. Hey, man, <laughs> uh, you guys got the wrong guy. You know, take that off. Yeah. Yeah. My son believes me. It's all good. Take it off. We're, yeah. we're fine. Get my life back here. It's been <sighs> disgusting. It's been heartache. I can't get jobs. What do you I think you it's, know? how hard do you think it's on them? Hey, your dad's a pervert. Hey, your ex-husband's a pervert. It's hard for me, too, and they don't want to talk about it. It happened to me. Good. Good thing it did. All right. <laughs> but what about me, everybody? What my feelings? What if it was a 14-year-old girl that when I showed up at the house? You know, we're not worried about that. What about me? My life has been yeah. ruined. It's like the fact that it wasn't the 14-year-old girl that he thought he was going to meet is somehow proof in itself that he's innocent. Right. Like, but it wasn't, you know, and then I went to jail. And <laughs> but you see, I thought it wasn't, and then it, w it really wasn't. So, like, I can't believe they got me. You know? it's <laughs> crazy. crazy. It's like, man. Let's meet your son, Steven. Steve! Monster! Oh, get him, Steve! Do this! Oh. Did you send a, a picture of a to a fourteen-year-old? Oh man, he come out hot! I love it when they do this. They just come around the corner, like even Dad's freaking <laughs> smiling at him. He's like, "God's guy, son, it's been seven years. <laughs> <laughs> You've grown into a fine, bald head young man. I love you." <laughs> Nobody wanted to get my side of the story. Nobody wants to listen to me. Ten, eleven years this is going on. Okay, and I know eleven. I'm so confused in the timeline now at this point. <laughs> I thought it was seven. Wow, then he went to right. jail. I don't know, whatever. At the end of the show, you'll see I'm telling the truth. I love you. I've always loved you. You're my, my buddy. You've always been there. Oh, you dad. You're my idol. Oh, squeeze them tears out. Oh, his eyes almost mm. got watery there. Almost. If he were to pass this, awesome. That would be awesome. I would do as much as I can to make sure my kids are in his life. If he fails. Did people not know that lie detectors aren't even <laughs> like lie detector tests are just <sighs> so sorry. I'm just, my brain got fried there for a second. So he's going to believe a lie detector test on a, on a, <laughs> a daytime, like Jerry Springer style talk show. show. <laughs> yeah. A talk show versus <laughs> the evidence and the dad going to prison and then even no plea, no contest, but he's going to be like, yeah, well, you know, these things that, these lie detector tests that aren't actually even usable in court because they're inaccurate. I, 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 my, bring my kids in, you know, bring them in. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, but anyway, uh, I guess there's no way it's going to be. I, I, mm. And I'm wondering if dad can pass it. If he believes it hard enough, if he he believes thinks, man, that's it. all you gotta do. He right? Just believe <laughs> hard enough. He think it'd be real, right? All right. Well, let's just let's go. And let's let's believe the lie detector tests just for the just for the just for the fun of it. Let's believe that lie detector tests actually matter. All right. Okay. All right. I've seen the police reports. Yes, you did. You saw a lie. They cut and pasted that police report and put everything in there to make me look like the monster you think I am. And I'm. <laughs> they even. They even. <laughs> edited the documents to make him look bad because that's how wow. important this man is. They have to bury him. They have to edit documents <laughs> to ruin his life. My gosh. You know, the kids were kept away because you were in jail for three years. You came out. You violated. You went back to jail. Ah! Yeah, then you I, came out. He violated. He went back to jail. What? Because, what? Oh, my gosh. Ooh, juicy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I violated whoa, 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 curfew. Whoa, 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 whoa. He violated curfew. Okay. 2012. I came home late, and that's how I violated. Because and they put you back in prison? Yeah. So and then when I you did get out. For being late? Hmm. Do you believe that day? Did they, if you, I, how, how about late? How, did he even come home? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's like, what is that? I don't know. Like, you know, you're five minutes late. Back to prison. You know, God, that seems, 
I mean, maybe. I don't know. I guess that's just depends on the parole guy, right? The parole officer. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. You came here and you took a lie detector test. Oh, yeah. You took the test, Dane. Here it is. Did you believe that you were communicating with a 14-year-old female? You answered no. Did you go to meet a 14-year-old female for the purpose of sexual physical contact? You answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Dave did not tell the truth. Oh, oh dang! People gang up on me and say I failed the test. Okay, first, I first, test, all, you know. first of all, first of all, and then, and then uh, now he knows. <laughs> yep, Steve and the media are are doing this to him again. I can't believe it. He's like, what? Wow! What you guys are all just ganging up on me? Everybody gets me. You guys, you guys. Change the lie detector. <laughs> I came here to clear my name. <laughs> and nobody was surprised. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's ganging up on you. It seems like nobody made you come on my show. You're not required by law to appear on my show. You, on your own decision, pled no contest to a crime. And you served your time. You kept talking about, oh, I've been taking lie detector tests. Not about whether you did it. Now, whether you believe there was a 14-year-old, and you came here today, and you failed. Steve ever just told him, was like, I didn't make you do this, dude. You did. Yeah. <laughs> you decided to do this. And he's over here about to cry, like, <laughs> taking responsibility. Dude, Steve, <laughs> tells you, dude. Steve lets you know. All they want to do you say is, you know what? I did it. I'm sorry. It'll never happen again. If that's what they want to hear... No. Wow. Way to ruin it there, guy. Here we go. Way bro. to say the one thing that would just throw all that away. Well, if that's what they want to hear, I'll say whatever. And now there's like oh, <laughs> literally no meaning behind anything you say now. Great. Wow. The self-sabotage this man has is, is it's endless. He, he had no choice, Cameron. We ganged up on him. Ah, how could we do it? <laughs> how could we do this? But in my heart, no, I didn't do it. Don't start talking. Hey, Dave. You know, I'm sorry. I, I love my kids. Dave, get the hell off my stage. <laughs> Whoa, Dave, they paid money to be here. Get out of here. Dave, get, get um. out. <laughs> we're, we're done with you, man. <laughs> we're done. Oh, then it, uh. All the laughs, and it cuts the sun here at the end. Oh, man. <laughs> you were my everything. Oh, Dad, no. <laughs> Look, man, just from... Seeing you're down the show for the, you know, the 14 minutes this clip is, you know, whenever you're young and you feel like your parents are like invincible <clears throat> and they have all the answers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah. 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 <laughs> nah. <laughs> just, nah. <laughs> just, just, leave, just leave that in the past, man. It yeah. ain't, it ain't it. And then he literally, he literally couldn't even say sorry at the end. Yeah. It's couldn't like he couldn't just, it. he just, he's been like. So it didn't happen. It ain't real. He's been saying that to himself for 11 years, apparently. There's no way he'd be like, you know what, regardless of of everything, because no one, you know, even he's like, yeah, no one's going to believe me anyway, but I am sorry. And just said, you know, sorry. That would be like even like half of an apology. Right, right. Still wouldn't be taking responsibility, but at least he would still like say he's sorry, I guess. It would be anything, but the dude's like, no, if that's what they want to hear, I didn't do it. <laughs> I'll Failed the lie detector, to went to jail, <laughs> said I did it, didn't do it. That's your mother's fault. <laughs> oh, what a dude. Anyway, <sighs> that was some of the Steve Wilco show. And that was, uh, well, you guys sent that to me in the, in the, in the doc below in the, in the description. So if you guys got any more of those juicy ones, send them over. And uh, if today's your birthday, happy birthday. So toast my friends. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye. No, no, Steve.